Right folks, um, doing a quick rant, driving through Leicester, and I was going to do a review but I don't think I'm going to bother because the traffic in Leicester is ridiculous. We've got major roadworks on uh, Melton Road and we've got major roadworks on Abbey Lane or Abbey Road or whatever the fucking hell it's called. It's not the one where the Beatles cross the road. Um, and the traffic in Leicester is just a complete fucking nightmare. Whoever, whoever decides this planning just wants a kick in the nuts. They're just fucking idiots. People who don't even come in Leicester. But it's people who don't even live in Leicester who have planned this out. Fucking numb nuts. Well, they would be numb if I fucking kicked them in it. I uh, just want to have a quick rant, really, folks, about uh, Philip Schofield and his uh, picture of him crying at the end of uh, the wonderful series of Afterlife 3. And uh, apparently, uh, Schofield did this. Uh, photo of him crying for his family whatsapp group which is fair enough whatever you want to do in your own little whatsapp group you can take a picture and show your cock if you want to if that's what fucking rocks your fucking boat um, but it's it was to his whatsapp group and uh, anyway it's, it's a picture google it fucking google it I'll tell you what I'll try and put it in here now If you didn't see that, if I didn't get it in, then you ain't seen it. Um, but Google it or Yahoo it or whatever you do it to, uh, and just Philip Schofield crying at the end of Afterlife Three. Uh, so anyway, he's been and done that, and then he's decided that to share it on uh, social media of him crying. And um, my point is, what I'm getting at is that do we really need to have these celebrities? having a photo opportunity like this and then sticking it out on social media do they really think that people seem to think more of them for crying at something like this now i watched i've watched afterlife three uh, afterlife one two and three i, I binge watched them over a, a few nights and it's a moving story of how a man loses his wife through the the through terrible illness of cancer, you know, somebody's ripped away from him. And it's it's a moving story because I imagine myself, you know, you put you you put yourself in losing your partner through a disease, an illness like cancer. And I I, I, I imagined losing my journey through it. Or you, you try to put yourself in the position of people who have lost the light, the loved ones through uh, an illness, not just cancer, any illness. But I don't foresee the need for a celebrity, if that's if what you want to class Schofield as, as a celebrity, uh, taking a photo of himself, using a photo opportunity to put it out there now if, like I've said if he'd, if he'd sent it to his families I mean let's face it I don't know what happened to Schofield and his family but is there any need for us to share it out there I'm, I'm, I'm a bit fed up with all these virtue signaling fucking celebrities who have got to do things oh I've done this I've done that I'm, I'll take a picture it's a photo opportunity it looks good it looks like I care it looks like I'm, I'm human looked like a twat to me I mean when this uh, the pandemics first started and we all had to wear a mask I actually bought a mask uh, a Leicester City bandana and I took a photo of myself wearing it and I put it out there and a few days later I thought I've been fucking suckered in here I've, I've gone along with the virtue signaling of what people should be doing trying to set an example now it's different trying to set an example. Come on, mate. He's trying to set an example of things to do or things to say. I don't know, but it, it just amazes me how. Now you're on. Come on. Um, it just amazes me how people seem to think that they're the, the setting a lead, but or are they doing it because they don't want to be seen as doing the wrong thing? 
Uh, do they have to? Do they need to be uh, appreciated and worshipped by their fucking followers so much that they dare not have an opinion and do something different? It's like I just don't understand why Schofield and others have got to do this. I'll stick a picture out there of me. I'll stick a picture out there of me doing this so that people love me and adore me and I can feel human. And the funny thing is, if you actually listen to Ricky Gervais when he does his stand-up and that, I, he doesn't seem to have a lot of respect for people that this do this, these celebrities that do this. He doesn't seem to have uh, a great deal of sympathy for them. Now, he's, now, Schofield's probably done this out of the goodness of his heart, and fair enough. But is there any need to go and stick it on this morning bloody website page or Twitter page or whatever and make out that, you know, I just don't understand the need of it. I watched it, right? I'm not ashamed to say I uh, I had a tear or two running down my face at one point. You know, you're watching the, you're watching the scenes of um, his wife dying or she's no longer there and he's watching the, 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 the videos that he's recorded, or you're watching the moments with the dog, or you're watching the moment when he tries to kill himself. And you are, if, if you don't get caught up in it, then there is something fucking seriously wrong with you. But I just don't see the need that Schofield has to put something out there to, 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 I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I right? I haven't got a fucking clue, really. But I just feel that I've got to say, all these celebrities, stop fucking doing it. Stop doing this bloody thing where you've got to show where what you're doing. Now, granted, I'm an, you know, I'm very fortunate to have quite a few subscribers, and my job is as, as such is eating food and giving an opinion. But I don't want people to like, oh, BVM's doing this, BVM's doing that, I'll follow him. I mean, I've, I've you know, since I've been doing this um, YouTubing, you know, I've, I've, you know, some people have asked me to do things and I've done it. And I've, but I don't go fucking to, I, you know, I, I've given money to charity for a sponsor this or a sponsor that. I don't go fucking taking a picture of my, uh, doing a screenshot of me sending 20 fucking quid and saying BVM's done this, everybody else join in, you know, what's the fucking point? People have got to start being their own individual thing and, and that's it. I don't care if fucking Schofield cried at the after, uh, afterlife. I'll tell you what I do care about at the moment, I care where the fucking hell am I because I don't recognise this. You stay there, cocker, it's my fucking right away. Um, I just don't get it. And the, another thing that's got me goat at the moment is... Uh, it, it, it's the uh, Holocaust Memorial, and all these MPs at the moment uh, are having photos of them signing the book, the Holocaust Memorial book, and the Holocaust is, you can't put into words how, I, I can't put into words on how bad it was, I just, you, you can't do it. And all these MPs at the moment are signing this book. You've got a flat tyre. If you've got a flat tyre and you don't even know, what the fuck's going on here? And um, all these MPs are signing this book of the Holocaust Memorial book. And they're all sitting there having a photo taken. And... I just, it just, I just don't understand it. He is got a fucking. I was going to tell him he's got a flat tire. It's just check. It's get balls to it. Um, and I, but what I don't understand is it's like an MP sitting there and he's signing. They're signing the paper and they're going, "Oh, look at me! I'm signing the thing. The, the Holocaust should never happen again." We all know that. We all know that it should never, ever, ever happen again. Don't know what's happening in China. That's another story. But they're all sitting there and they're looking all like concerned and upset and that.
But these politicians that are signing the Holocaust Memorial book are not there having a fucking selfie taken when they're signing, putting a vote against increasing or decreasing universal credit. They won't do that one. They won't stand there and have a photo to, oh, I'm just putting the next down to say we're going to reduce universal credit <coughs> by £20. No, you won't do that one, will you? But putting your name in a book where six million people have basically been exterminated by some fucking loon, yeah, you'll do that one, won't you? And it just winds me up. It just winds me up how these people, these celebrities, these MPs, seem to think they want us to care of what they do and of what they say. When really, they don't care. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about what's happening. It's as long as they look good, as long as they look like they're human, as long as they seem to think they're one of us. They're not one of us. And Schofield posted his photo saying, oh, I'm crying over afterlife, trying to be one of us. I don't go over a shit in the morning and say, oh, I've had a dump here. Here's a photo of me squeezing one out on the fucking bog. Why? Why do we need to see it? Why do we need to do it? <sighs> don't know, folks. Perhaps it's me. I don't know whether I'm right or wrong. But I just think these celebrities, they're too eager to take a photo of something they're doing and try to make out that they're, they're good people. They are good people. I'm not saying Schofield's a fucking dog torturer or anything like that. But I just don't see the fucking need in it. I just don't see the point. I've had enough of it. The world's in a big enough state without people just like taking a photo of somebody crying. I mean, to take a photo of yourself crying and then put it out there, that's even fucking worse. If somebody had taken a photo a sly one of you crying after watching Afterlife. Then put it out there. Then, you know, all right. Fair enough. But to do it yourself and put it out there. Don't know. Anyway, folks, that's the end of this rant. You might agree with me. You might not agree with me. Put your comments down below. Um, this is a fucking joke. All I wanted to do was review some food. So put your comments down below. You might agree with me, you might not. Try and be respectful. That, uh, I did the Joe Rogan and... Um, did the Joe Rogan moan about Neil Young on, my, on one of the other rants. Um, a lot of people replied, a lot of people agreed, a few disagreed. And uh, I'd say 95% of the... Uh, ones who disagreed with me were respectful and how they spoke to me, which is great. Had a few knobheads. Um, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, it's the way it goes, folks. Um, yeah, so put your comments down below. I'm interested to see if you agree or you disagree. Call the cops. And that's it. So, yeah. I don't agree with all this stuff where celebrities have to put a photo of themselves going on. No need for it. Yeah, Matt Hancock did that thing with the thing, weren't it? And all. How the hell can he do anything? Right, okay, folks. Laters.